Hey guys, Dan here. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to the first video in a tutorial series I'm doing called Make an RPG. Uh, I'm going to be using Unity and I'm going to be programming in C Sharp. So hopefully some of you guys find these tutorials uh, helpful. Um, basically my, my goal for now is to go through uh, and create several systems I'm calling systems uh, in, that are in an RPG and by that I mean like an inventory system, a stat progression system, leveling items, uh, and then we can move on to actual 3D controls with like character movement and enemies and uh, turn-based combat and that kind of thing. Uh, but today I'm going to start out with character classes and creating character classes. And by character classes I mean uh, like a warrior or a mage or a rogue, something those those are what I'm going to call it. and what I'm going to do is create a base character class so I'm gonna I go ahead I made a uh, brand new unity project okay and uh, in my project folder down here I created two uh, scene, I created two folders scenes and scripts and in my scripts folder I created a character classes folder now I'm gonna go ahead and create a C sharp script I'm gonna label it base character class I'm going to open this up in Mono Develop, and I'm going to explain to you uh, basically what I'm going to do with this class. First thing is I'm going to delete this. Don't need any of that. I don't need Mono Behavior right now, so I'm going to get rid of it. And uh, we're going to create. The first thing we're going to do is create a uh, some private variables. Now, the idea of this class is when you when we go on next to make our uh, base classes, so our base warrior class and our base mage class. Uh, we're going to assign basic values for each of those so we don't have to go in all the time and redo them you know so what we're going to do is create a, some private variables first we're going to create a private string and call it a char character class name we're going to create another private string we'll call it character class description and then we're going to create some stats so I actually write a comment. We're gonna call them stats. Uh, so you guys can write in the comments below what kind of stats you want to see. But I'm just gonna do a few for now. I'm just do private int, and we'll do stamina. Doesn't look right. Stam and okay. Stamina. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So then we're gonna do uh, private int, and we'll do um, endurance. Uh, we'll do private in strength, and then we'll do private int intellect, and we'll leave it at that for now. When you guys come back with uh, leave some comments and stuff, and we'll change them up. We'll change up uh, the stats we want and uh, make it more to what you all want. So I'm going to leave it as that. As uh, with that, we have six variables right now. We have a, a name, a class description, and then we have four stats for each class. So here I'm going to set up our public getter and setters. So we're going to do a public string. I'm going to call it character class name. And that's going to get a get. And that's, excuse me, it's going to return our character class. You go up here, copy it, paste. Okay, then we're going to set. And that's going to go, we're going to copy and paste our character class name. We're going to set the equal to value. Now, what this does is it allows me to um, it allows me to access this variable that's in this base class and either set it or just read it. I can get it, which is reading it, or I can set it where I give it a value and it saves it as that. So next, we're going to grab our character class description, I'll copy that, paste, paste, paste. I'm doing a Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Okay. We're going to go up, I'm going to hold shift, hold up the up arrow, I'm going to collect this information, I'm going to hit control C, come back down, control V, paste it. Now this is going to be an integer, so an int, we're going to go grab stamina, copy, control C, control V, control V, just say uh, paste it all, and then uh, we're just going to again go up, come down here, we're going to create uh, three more. Because we got we got endurance, strength, and intellect left, so we're gonna grab endurance, paste, paste, 
E. Grab strength. You can type this all out if you want, but I, th I find it a little faster just to copy and paste. Um, okay, we're going to delete and go. All right, so I set up all of our public getters and setters for our different uh, values here, for our, our character name, description, and our four stats. So I'm going to hit Control S to save this script. I'm going to go back into Unity. I'm going to hit our character classes folder. I'm going to go to create. I'm going to create a new C Sharp script. I'm going to call it our warrior. Let's call it our base warrior class. We're going to open that C Sharp, double click. We're going to go to mono develop. We're going to erase this. We don't need this right now. We're going to get rid of mono behavior. And instead of mono behavior, we're going to inherit our base character class. And you'll see why we do this. Now, I'm going to create a public and create a function. And we're going to call it public. It's going to be a void. And we're going to call it warrior class. It's not going to receive anything. We're going to create our brackets. And now, since we're inheriting from our base character class, when we go in and type character class name, this value is going to show up here, and we can assign the class name. So we'll character name. And we're going to set that equal to warrior, because that's our class name. Then we're going to do a uh, description. So we're going to get our description. And this can be, you know, whatever you want. Uh, a strong, quick, let's say strong and, I don't know, powerful hero. That works. <laughs> Not great. Oh, I forgot my semicolon. Not great, but whatever. And we're going to grab stamina. And we're going to set that equal to, let's say, 15. We'll grab our endurance. I'm going to set that equal to 12. These don't mean anything. They're just values right now. When uh, we create the stat progression system, we can go in and really define what these mean. What does stamina mean? What does endurance mean? But we'll get to that later. We're just going to create the variables now. And again, these can be whatever you want. They don't have to be what I'm making them. Uh, we'll grab our strength. We'll set that. He's strong, so we'll make him 14. And intellect. Warriors aren't the smartest, so we'll make it a 10. How about that? So that's it. That's our one class. So we're, now we're going to go out back to Unity and we're going to create another one. And we're going to call it a, let's call it Mage. So do, ma oh, excuse me, Base Mage Class. Again, we're going to open it up in Model Develop. Here we go. We're going to erase this. We don't need this. And we're going to erase Model Behavior. And we're going to, again, inherit from our base. Why is it doing that? Come on. Well, give it a second. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna uh, base character class. Okay, so we inherit our base mage class. Is gonna inherit from our base character class. Again, we're gonna create a public void, and we'll call it uh, mage class. And so, what we can do with this is when we we create a character. Let's say we create a brand new character, uh, and you decide you want to be a mage class. To apply that class to the character, you can just say uh, new character dot class is equal to a new mage class, and that's going to assign all these base values that we're inputting here to that new character. So again, we're going to go character name, or character class name, excuse me, and we're call it the mage. We're going to go character description, and we're going to say a powerful a wise wizard can wise wizard can cast spells I don't know whatever you want uh, we're gonna set stamina uh, he doesn't have as much as the warrior so let's say give him 12 uh, endurance uh, we'll set that as I don't know 15, 14 we'll set strength not strong he's smart but not strong We'll set strength to 10, and we'll set intellect to, let's say, 15. Okay, so here we have our two classes. We have own oh, control C to save this. Um, we have our two classes. We have a mage class here, and then we have a warrior class here. And they all, they all inherit from this base character class. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to uh, create a quick GUI uh, to show you kind of just 
show you how to access these two scripts and how to read them out on screen so you know that they're actually there. See you next time.